Hi everyone, I'm Elif Donay and today I will talk about comparison between morphology, syntax and semantics. My presentation will take about 10 minutes and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to get contact with me via my email, which you will see at the end of my presentation. Before talking about comparison between morphology, syntax, and semantics, I want to talk about what is morphology, syntax, semantics, and linguistics briefly to get an idea of what are they. So let's start with what is linguistics. The discipline of linguistics focuses on theories of language structure, variation and use, the implication of theories of language for understanding of the mind and brain, human culture, social behavior, and language learning and teaching. It has many subfields as phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, and pragmatics. But today I will talk about only morphology, syntax, and semantics. So let's start with what is morphology. Morphology helps linguists to understand the structure of words by putting together morphemes. So, what is a morpheme then? A morpheme is the smallest grammatical meaningful part of the language. There are two different types of morphemes that form the basis of the words they structure, free morphemes and bound morphemes. A free morpheme is a single meaningful unit of a word that can stand alone in a language, for example, cat. A bound morpheme cannot stand alone. It has no real meaning if it is on. For example, the S in cats. If you are interested in the topic, you can see more by clicking here. Morphology also studies the word formation processes of the languages. Here we see some English word formation processes like compounding, affixation, clipping, coinage, acronyms, back formation, blending, and borrowing. Because of my time limit, I will not be able to talk about them in a detailed way. So if you are interested in the topic and if you are interested in English word formation processes, you can click here to see more, get more information. So what does morphology do? Morphology studies the smallest meaningful parts of the words. Also, morphology looks at the structure of words and how they are formed. And let's talk about syntax. What is syntax? Syntax looks at the rules and processes of building a sentence, and it looks at the word order and structure of a sentence. The meaning of a sentence in any language depends on the syntax and order of the words. A very simple basic sentence in English is made of subject, verb, and object. For example, the flower watered the man. According to syntax, this sentence is valid because it provides the accurate word, for word order in English. Understanding how syntax works helps the linguist to look at different categories of the sentences from the simple, sub simple to compound to complex and compound complex sentence. So syntax is studies these types of sentences and get help from constituent structure trees. These trees show linear order of verse grouping first into structural constituents, the syntactic category of each structural constituents. So what does syntax do? Syntax is the study of sentences and the words within the sentence. Syntax look at the word order and how words work within the structure of a sentence. Then let's move on to what is semantics. Semantics is the study of the meaning of words, phrases, and sentences. It deals with how meaning works in a language, how the way in which words are put together creates meaning, and the relationship between words. It has three subfields as formal semantics, lexical semantics, and conceptual semantics. 
To get more information, you can click here. Also, it studies some lexical relations in language. For example, synonymy, antonymy, hyponymy, homonymy, polysemy, prototypes, and metonymy. Again, because of my time limit, I will not be able to talk each of them. So, if you're interested, you can click here to get more information again. So, what does semantics do? Semantics look at several meaning-oriented relationships in a language and looks at how these meanings are created. Let's move on to comparison between morphology, syntax, and semantics. Let's start with differences. Morphology deals with how the words are created. Syntax deals with how the words are organized in a sentence, the sentence structure, and semantics, on the other hand, deals with the meaning of the words in sentences. Let's see an example. We have two sentences. I robbed a bank. A bank robbed me. In terms of morphology, these two sentences have the exactly the same words. According to syntax, it, these sentences are valid because they have a crude uh, word structure of English. And in terms of semantics, these sentences are different because even though they have exactly the same word order, exactly the same words, uh, the meaning is different here. So, to be able to understand how these subfields of linguistics work uh, in a better way, let's give another example here. Uh, think about the word exact. Uh, morphology studies the word formation, the variations of the word exact as verb form, noun form, adjective form, adverb form of the exact. For example, accept, acceptance, acceptable, unacceptable, etc. And semantics studies the different meanings of these different variations of the word accept. For example, accept means to agree to take something, while unacceptable means too bad to be accepted, approved of, uh, approved of or allowed to continue. On the other hand, syntax deals with the word order of these different variations of the word accept. For example, he accepted the offer while he behaved in unacceptably. So, morphology studies the structure of words, syntax studies the structure of sentences, and semantics studies the meaning of the words. Morphemes are the smallest units in morphology. However, words are the smallest units in syntax and semantics. Syntax seeks for an answer to how can I form a valid sentence. Semantics, on the other hand, seeks for an answer to what does this sentence mean. Semantics is about the meaning of the words, while morphology is about the forms of the words. Let's talk about similarities here. Morphology and syntax enable the linguist to analyze language structure. Semantics, on the other hand, enable linguists to analyze the meanings of the words. Morphology, semantics, and syntax are tools used by the linguist to understand the way a language works. Different languages have their own specific word order and meanings. The linguists have these differences with the help of these disciplines. Also, they can help each other. How they can help? Morphology helps semantics to understand the word itself, and syntax helps semantics to reveal how meaning is created in a language because how language is structured is central to meaning. Moreover, morphology helps syntax to order the words in, in terms of their form, and semantics helps to order the words in a meaningful way. To conclude, we can see morphology as the linguistic study of words, syntax as the linguistic study of ordering words in sentences, and semantics as the linguistic study of meanings of the words in sentences. Thank you for listening to me. If you have any questions, 
please do not hesitate to get contact with me via my email, which you see here. And these are my references. Thank you for listening to me again. Have a great day.